US dollars. And that's how I build my things. I buy, you know, stone and block and cement and sand, all of these things. God I hear this and I said, develop the land. So we have to do what we can to build to build the, the land. Even here, there's an article from this magazine, Africa magazine, Africa magazine? from 1977. Okay. It tells you that Ethiopian Wealth Federation founded by an Ethiopian diplomat in 1937. So, but it tells you the, the politics too. Mm -hmm. Because it tells you what? That foreign governments put pressure on Ethiopia to renege on this agreement. And until 1971, very few settlers had actually gone to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. They said about eight Afro American families and 12 Rastafarians had actually settled there. Okay? And then it says what? According to one source, the foreign pressure on Ethiopia eased in 1971 and the government decreed that the Rastafarian settlers would be given 25 acres each. But we know there was two Afro-American families in there, according to the history. So these are the documents that, Thank you very much. that support, you know, what we're dealing with. Now, this was when Michael Manley came here. Okay. Michael Manley was the former Prime Minister of Jamaica, and that's him here, and his brother Douglas Manley. Okay. This is in Brother Boar's uh, yard. Brother Boar's is here now? Yeah, he's still here. He stayed. But out of the 12 who got land, four left, never came back. Mm -hmm. And four died on the land. And four of us are still living. That's Brother Boar, Brother Wolf, Sister Clark. Because one lady did get land. And then what? Myself. So we four are still alive. And we're the elders or the cornerstones. Sister Clark is... Um, uh, Sister Willetta Clark. Yeah. Willetta Clark? Yeah, she's still here. Okay. She's trying to have an orphanage for children with no parents. Okay, okay. Yeah. And this is Brother Boar and them when they first came, because I helped to sponsor them. Brother Boar, Sister Inez, and this is Brother Thompson. Mm -hmm. Now, he never accepted land. When it came chance to get land, he wouldn't take land. Wait, he, was, he, he, want, he want land in the beginning? Yeah, that's why he came, and then so, he said suddenly. Change so, his mind? Yeah. Okay. And he's the one that got in a fight with Sister Inez and cut her. You know. And when he got back to Jamaica, after three and a half years in jail, here for that, somebody shot him in Jamaica, you know. Because what he did was terrible, you yes. know. You come in a group and then you fight and cut somebody. But anyway, he's, he's no longer with us. Okay. And this is uh, the pictures from the original movement. When I was met by Planner in Jamaica at the Palisados Airport, this is that meeting. That's my secretary, Brother Scott. And that's Solomon Wolf there looking on. And this was us working together. <coughs> this is us work, <coughs> working together in '64. Mm -hmm. That's Moody, James Moody, Planner, my secretary, Brother Scott, and Solomon Wolf. Oh, it's that's uh, Rasolo. No, oh. Solomon Wolf. Okay. Well, he's in America right now. Okay. But he's the one they try to see his administrator appointed by the emperor, which there's no such document. Okay. You see, I have the original documents related to that. But in the meantime, we're trying to work something out to cooperate and work together. Mm -hmm. We're still working on that. But like I say, this was the original certificate 
Really, many people don't have that. There might be one or two in creation. But this is to show how Piper was administrating at that time. Mm -hmm. But even he out there, James Piper administrated. Mm -hmm. And some people try to say he was never administrator. No, he was administrator. Right. And these are, this is a document. But you remember Bob Marley came here. He came, Bob Marley came? Okay. And he played at Africa Hall. Okay. He gave a concert. Because the government wouldn't let him come in the country. But Why is that? Because they said he's related to the, to the royal family and he might cause a riot. You know, he might start singing some song, bring down the government or something. <laughs> and then what would happen? Mm -hmm. There'd be a riot, the whole country here would go crazy. So they said, no, you can't get an entry visa. Mm -hmm. But then the, to the OAU, to the uh, UNECA, ECA, we invited him to put on a concert at Africa Hall. And that being international soil, this government couldn't block it. Okay. Because that's international soil. And they have rights over the Ethiopian mm -hmm. government even. Right. So this is the band that invited him. It was called the ECA band at that time. Okay. And the head men were like Mangwana from Zimbabwe. That's Brother Cephas from Trinidad. That's uh, Gibson from South Africa. And that's myself up there. We had a band mixed with what? Caribbean, Afro-American, and African. Yeah. Some of the brothers were from Cameroon and from Ghana. And Brother Brown later came and joined from Jamaica. You know Brother Bigger Brown, okay. who have since retired from UCA. So our idea, if we could socialize together, then later we could politicize. Mm -hmm. Bringing all these elements to what? Music. Yeah. You see? 